What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Brew Show. It is July 5th, 2018, and we are sitting here drinking brews and talking about it. We got a uh, pretty interesting show today, so uh, let's just jump right into it. Oaks, how you doing out there, man? Oh, I'm great. Sipping on a new Belgium Hemperer, if you will. Hey, Hemperer. Nice, nice. Joey, uh, maybe not necessarily a newcomer, but we'd like to have you uh, back here. So what's going on over there? Not a lot. Just hanging out, Charlie. Trying a uh, local beer today, the overly friendly IPA brewed in Charleston, actually, South Carolina. I'm proud of you. That's way better than the previous beer you were drinking on the show. <laughs> Jojo, what you drinking over there? What's going on, guys? I'm uh, drinking the actual beer of the week today, so stick around to figure out what that is. Right now, that is. All Day IPA. That's what we've got going on. It's a session ale. It's awesome. Check it out. Made by Founders. Fantastic. And actually, uh, we got Rowan out at a brewery over there in the Ute. Rowan, where are you at? Yes, sir, this is Vernal, Utah. Vernal, Vernal. And this is the Vernal Brewing Company. Hey. So today I'm actually going to be trying live, for your pleasure, samples of all of these beers. And we'll show you a better graphic coming up. But right now I've got the uh, Little Hole Session Lager. It's, uh, it's really good. You know, this is just a beer to pound them with your buddies. And it's worthy of being called a session. And then next up, I'm going to try the Pilgrimage. I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Sounds good. Sounds good. Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump over to our disclaimer. The information provided on the show does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice. Crypto Brew Show is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Conduct your own due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. There we are. And let's go ahead and move right on to our state of the market. We have the global market cap sitting at $269 billion, 24-hour volume of $15.99 billion, and the Bitcoin dominance sliding just a tad at 42.19 percent bitcoin is holding steady at 66.47 up 50.55 percent in the 24 hour ethereum is sitting at 474 dollars up 1.28 percent and ripple is down just a smidge at 48 cents down 2.19 percent that is the top three Let's move on to our gainers and losers, courtesy of BitScreener. Jojo, what you got, man? Yeah, at the uh, top of the list with the gainers, we've got Sakura Bloom, up a whopping 82.99% in the past 24 hours, uh, putting that at uh, 0.1 cents. Below that, we've got Primus. Primus is up there because it's primal, number one. Uh, Primus is up 46.47%. Um, and then right below that, we've got ODEM, Odom, uh, up 40.47% uh, at $0.36. Cents. Um, and then our losers today, guys, we've got Ethos rounding out the bottom at 26.88%, uh, down in the past 24 hours. Uh, Tezos uh, down 26.4%. Uh, 40 percent in the last 24 hours at a dollar 44 and then finally uh, the last third there is self key at around two cents down 23.94 percent as well i'm and, actually uh pretty surprised to see ethos up there they just released their uh universal wallet uh i didn't really see them pump that much from it um so it's pretty interesting to see there what were you about to say though oh i was just going to say that our uh our friend Coin Dash has uh, <laughs> once again made it to the losers list. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, uh, we'll see the winner of the question of the week there, but it is down twenty one point eight seven percent this week. Uh, Syscoin down there at the bottom too, down thirteen point eight eight percent. We got an article uh, that we're going to talk about a little later as to why that might be. But let's go ahead and jump over to our heat map here, uh, courtesy of Biscreener. Um, mixed, mixed, not great, not bad, not great. It is where it is. Alrighty, this is going to be a little different show uh, today. We don't actually have a distilled thoughts segment, but we are just going to go straight with market news headliners. We're just going to be talking about all the headlines today. And the first one happens to be from 
Ethereum World News, the rise in crypto jacking attacks linked to unsecured mobile apps. Uh, Coin Hive apparently is said uh, application that leads the way in crypto jacking attacks. Uh, pretty interesting here um, that they're the those hacks, the crypto hacks are coming into the apps on your phones um, without you maybe even knowing it. Um, but yeah, what do you uh, what do you think about this article, Oaks? Man, I think this is exactly why we need things like uh, Sierra and Labs with their. Uh, phone they're coming out, and then I think believe HTC we've talked about before. Oh, look at your Siren plug. <laughs> you know, just gotta gotta plug it in whatever I can. But you know, it just when you when you have the capability of being able to protect yourself with uh, the technologies that are coming out with those kind of phones that are integrated inside the phone's hardware and software uh, is things that we need. It's looking uh, promising to get it. Fair enough, Joey. What you what you think about uh, this article? I see you, Joey. You'll be next. No, I think it's a uh, a good article. It doesn't um, speak well for uh, exchanges, and I feel like it's put out there to scare people, uh, you know, kind of scare them away from going out there and trading all this stuff. Uh, you read all this stuff about crypto and cryptography in general being super secure, um, you know, safe, easy to exchange stuff, uh, essentially kind of like unhackable, and then... Uh, kind of see people coming out throwing this out here um I don't know, it just makes me a little concerned i guess fair enough jojo what you got yeah i think uh the major thing there uh, i just wanted to mention that oaks with this plug on sierra and labs uh oh you, you win this one sir htc is pulled out of the mobile market so uh, 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 yeah. uh, yep. so we'll see man so good good for you uh HTC, you, you really hurt me, guys. I just want you to know that. Slow, <laughs> slow clap for HTC yeah. who brought Android to what it was and Google helped them out. But anyways, back to this article, guys. Uh, as far as the crypto jacking thing is concerned, I mean, that's why um, spyware, malware, and all that stuff on computers is a thing because people have been running like internet-based uh, options through your computers from the very beginning. This is just the next step, you know, mobile applications. And the biggest majority about this is about mining. A lot of people are utilizing your phones to mine uh, and the power in that. So I just think the, the major thing here is, um, you know, it's just it's time for the mobile space to have protection where I know we've got some semblance of protection and there's not there. there there's not much out there that can be changed about that. But I think Serum Labs has it there, you know, privacy coins. I mean, not privacy coins, but. Privacy uh, utilization phones um, are going to be the next step, and that's where we're going to have to go. Uh, what else you guys got? Ron, Ron, what you got over there, Vernal Bruin? Yeah, I was just going to comment on this real quick, uh, and then I'll get to this next beer. So, I mean, the article says basically the weakness is in the phones, not necessarily the blockchain. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't know exactly. Thank you. Um, I, I would say this doesn't say anything bad about the actual blockchain for Monaco. Um, but anyway, let's talk about this next beer. So this is the Vernal Brewing Pilgrimage Pale Ale. Uh, it's very dry. This is one of the driest beers I've ever had. Back to you. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. All righty. Let's uh, go ahead and jump into our next article here. Breaking news, Europe's largest ETF trader moving into the crypto market despite the regulator's warning. This one comes to you from Crypto Globe. Um, I just read that headline and all I see is, all I read is a big F you to the regulators. Well, yes, and and money there, Joseph. Uh, but while you're doing that, what do you what do you think about this uh, this headline, Joe? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's primarily what it is. It's uh, a lot of money coming into the market. The only thing that I have to, to ask that I didn't really follow up and do some research on, but um, that would be awesome if uh, this Europe company was publicly traded on like those exchanges, uh, because then they probably do have transparency in their books and their numbers, and we can get an estimate of what's about to funnel into the market. Um, I think that this is really good. 
the fact that they're doing that past regulatory complaints is just my thought about what um, future times are going to have to happen and be like for these mutual funds and things like that. Because like I mentioned on shows past, you know, you've got a uh, little Jimmy out there who's raking in 21 percent. And uh, you got John, who is uh, a CEO of a company, and he's working through a hedge fund manager at um, Schwab, Ameritrade, or whatever. And they're only giving him 7% on what he's making, right? So why are we not seeing that for them? And I think this is the first step. This is those people out there in the world saying, hey, why can't I get that 21%? And this is forcing those ETFs' hands and those people that are actually out there trading those commodities. So I think this is a great thing. This is an awesome step. And uh, with the Winklevoss uh, twins coming out with the uh, ETP. The Winklevi. Yeah, Ringle, Winklevi, Winklevi, yeah, there we go. <laughs> but um, those those crazy twins there, um, they uh, came out with that ETP, uh, electronically uh, traded product. Um, I think this is gonna be an awesome first step for actual real utilization of fund management on the blockchain so fair i'm enough. pretty happy about it fair enough oaks i saw you put your beer up what you got yeah so i was just looking through this article and just last quarter they traded 284 billion by today's numbers hell that yeah double oh that would double what we have currently in the market just and that's alone with just them so just imagine like if they get into the space it just opens up the opportunity for others to look at it and be like yeah fuck fuck regulatory like let's get into it anyways let's let's give it a shot <laughs> dude i mean even if they just put an eighth or a sixteenth of what they put in the market you know like what they did in that trading that's going to be huge for the market it's going to be a big push uh get ready for the heavy hitters because it's all going to go straight to btc and f uh, uh Hashtag Nafamu, but seriously, that's where it's probably going to enter the market. You're going to see it coming soon. Thanks for the uh, the Nafamu there. I actually forgot to say that in the disclaimer. Hashtag Nafamu, not a financial advisor. My own opinions. That's what that means. But uh, I mean, I think you guys are right. I mean, I don't know if if anything. I mean, they're just basically telling the regulators, "Look, we're going to do this, whether you guys regulate or not." Uh, so here we go. We're moving forward. You guys need to move forward too. Um, so, Joey, what you, what you think of this article, man? I think it's great. I love it. To piggyback off of what Oaks and Joe were saying, the company this big, um, the thing that stuck out to me, it's kind of in that quote that I read that's in the uh, PowerPoint's going to be posted on YouTube, is the last part of it. Institutional investors are interested. We know they, we know they are because we get requests. Um, the co-CEO of this place saying something like that, you know, managing this amount of volume, I think that's great. And it speaks a lot for where we're at, you know, yep. it's a big stepping stone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rowan, you got anything on this article? You were moving on to the next yeah. one. Yeah. So I, I don't want to shoot this one to Joe. I want to ask, so what is the difference in the ETP that you were talking about and the ETNs mentioned in the article? Joe. So the ETN is uh, exchange traded, traded notes. Note. Well, all right. So, I mean, it looks to me like since they're calling it a note that it's a promissory agreement of, of funds, right? That's what it looks to me like. I don't know exactly if that's what they're going to try to do with it. Maybe that's Europe's version of kind of like an ETP or an ETF. Well, I mean, they're doing ETFs, so they obviously are in that space, right? But the Vigo Y twins are doing the ETPs, which is just basically the same thing. Instead of having the base commodity for the actual fund itself be in, in stocks and securities, now it's going to be based in cryptocurrencies. And uh, so it looks like what they're going to do is they're going to create an exchange traded note, which is going to be the same thing. So a promise of the money that is held in the assets that are on the exchange. Right. So it's just semantics. It's basically the same thing. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next article here. TMG Core launches enterprise scale cryptocurrency mining facility in Plano, Texas. Hey, there's a yeah. We are uh, we are based out of Texas, so this is kind of hits the hometown vibe uh, we got going over here. This uh, article comes from uh, Dallas Innovates. Um, 
So it's a pretty interesting article. We got, I mean, that's it's a pretty big f a facility, 150,000 square foot facility that they're just gonna go to town and just, I mean, yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, Joey, you actually brought us uh, uh, this article to our attention. Uh, what were your initial thoughts when you uh, read this headline? Yeah, so this TMG Core. Uh, bought this 150,000 square foot building just to mine freaking cryptocurrency um you know dropping big dollars on a building to mine crypto <laughs> i think that speaks a lot you know for where we're at um and the amount of engineering that went behind it as well them developing a new way to uh, cool everything while doing all this mining to reduce their cost by 90 percent just to make it efficient so they they can make a profit off this um i think it's it's great to have a facility like this, especially in Texas, um, you know, making a statement out here. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're talking about, we have developed a two-phase liquid cooling immersion technology to dramatically decrease cooling costs by up to 90%. That is crazy. That is crazy. Oaks, what you, uh, what you thinking about this article? Well, I just like, my question is, is where are they coming from? Like the Sahara Desert? I mean, because we're hot as hell here. How are they cutting costs? Um, I would love to know that. But I mean, it's great for the city of Plano and everywhere that's going around there. It just kind of speaks volumes to what's going around uh, in the North Texas area with all these companies moving here, just cheap. And uh, they give them, you know, these nice tax, bre tax breaks and stuff. So I think it's great for the city of Dallas or city of Plano. And hey, we're getting further into the future here in texas real, real quick before i jump to uh ron or joe i just want to uh talk to you the viewer real quick um i changed up the the format a little bit and i've noticed that my cursor is around multiple times i see them and i know you guys see them and i'm sorry and it won't happen again but anyway moving on joe what do you think about this article yeah i think uh the major thing about this is um Poor, poor Plano, you know, they, uh, I think they lost the, uh, the bid and contract with Amazon, but they got an awesome big ass mining facility. <laughs> uh, you know, so I think this is really cool. Um, we've got a lot of good stuff happening in Plano and Frisco, and uh, that's where a lot of the corporate based businesses are coming, you know. Uh, something really interesting about this expansion there is, honestly, you know, with the lower property taxes in Texas, a lot of places are being created here, like uh, Tech Ridge near Austin. Um, a lot of major uh, technology companies are moving to the state because of the tax benefits. And I love the fact that they're doing this at TMG Core. I don't know anything about TMG Core, but I'd like to learn more about them because the fact that they can put this type of capital in this means that they probably had investors on board to boost this operation and pick it up into place. So the fact that large scale investors are seeing this as an opportunity to get some awesome returns, it just speaks wondrous. And kudos for the the area. I wish the infrastructure was there a little more. And uh, welcome to Toll Road Central. <laughs> Put that out there. Ro Ron, okay. what you got? Uh, what you got? Uh, it's awesome to have blockchain presence in uh, North Texas. That's awesome. I'm going to get on to the third beer here. Uh, by the way, we have a uh, PowerPoint deal up for uh, all the beers I'm talking about. So for you YouTubers, you'll be able to look at exactly what I'm, what I'm drinking here. Uh, number three is called Miss Bee Hyven. This is a honey blonde ale. It's a light body, crisp, a little bit of that honey sweetness and uh, real kind of just subtle hop. Uh, it's a good, easy, easy going beer. Is uh, Miss Beehiven Beehaven? Miss Beehiven is Mama's Milk's daughter. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. All right, move it on, move it on. Uh, one of these days, you're going to have to actually talk about one of these articles, Ron, uh, instead of talking about your beer. Not that we don't like talking about your beers over there. I am jealous uh, of what, what you got going on over there. All right, our next article comes from Blocked Blockchain News and Tech. A mysterious blockchain company unveils its new office after acquiring 67,000 acres of land in Nevada. 
Uh, pretty similar to the article we just talked about. Um, but man, things are happening. People are buying up all the land to do all the mining. Um, yeah, it, there's some it's interesting stuff going on. Oaks, what do you uh, how do you feel about how you, how do you feel about this article? That's insane. There, the, the amount of land that they grabbed is is comparable to uh, Apple and Google. Um, I mean, and then like mysterious blockchain company. I, I just I want to know who it is. Uh, per, I mean. To buy up that much land, it's got to be a major player, you'd have to think. But uh, it's insane, just the um, the sheer amount of land, 67,000 acres. That's 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 no small small plant. Yeah, you're right. Joey, what, uh, what are your thoughts on this one? <laughs> to piggyback off of Oaks. <laughs> you like so piggybacking. Question. I do, I do. <laughs> so much question on this article, right? One, a mysterious blockchain company. Who's that? To 67,000 yeah, acres. Blo- Blockchain LLC is who it is. Who are the, you know, F that is. But yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. Like, what did they do? 67,000 acres that they bought in January. <laughs> like, where was this in January? And what did they plan on using 67,000 acres for? And why not, like, up north? Like, these people, uh, you know, develop these state-of-the-art cooling systems but just go away. hey it's i like, mean cool. if yeah i mean you could reduce cooling costs by uh 90 percent from uh tmg right. core hey who knows you could go in the middle of the fucking desert and go uh mine some cryptocurrency jojo <laughs> what you got over there all right so mysterious blockchain company uh, this is just kind of like thoughts and speculations but i honestly think this is probably one of the major players out there um, you know, like I'm speaking like Tron, EOS, um, these are the people that are like going to go out and garnish this stuff because these are the next steps, right? They're creating their products, but still, um, there needs to be some sort of application basis behind it because Reno, Nevada, where this is coming up at is a major Mecca for new emerging technological talent. And when I mean that I'm talking about Tesla, Tesla started its roots. It's really building up in Reno and it's buying all that land. So the fact that it bought 67,000 acres, I think this is going to be a major facility for some potential mining operations as well. And all of their energy is going to be secured by solar resources because of the sand and the heat and pretty much like 99% sun contact throughout the day. They're going to have massive energy cells that are going to use this to build up that blockchain space. Blockchain LLC, totally just a pseudo name for one of these major players out there. Once it comes to light, you better know they are gonna just go to the moon. Heard that, <laughs> heard that. that. Building up from the sun. <laughs> Ron, what you got over there? Um, so I just wanna point out to the listeners and, and viewers here, make sure they're aware of the pattern that we have thus unveiled in the uh, headlines here. Blockchain is real. It's growing. It's here to stay. And there's some major F and cap major, get going major in players it. involved. Okay. Blockchain is real. It's here to stay. And, uh, you know, all the fun, we hear FUD daily for, for us that, that are involved in crypto. You hear it daily, right? It's real. It's here to stay. Okay. You know, NAFA move, but have confidence. Uh, and believe in in it as a technology. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the fourth beer here. This is the She's a Peach. It's a peach wheat ale. Uh, medium body, a little, little hazy, as you can see, which is normal for a wheat beer. It's actually got a little bit of spice to uh, kind of go with that peachiness. It's, it's a good one, man. I'm liking this one. All right. All right. Nice. 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 All right. We're moving on to our next article here. Well, one second. One oh. second on the last article. Just to add a little bit more myster- mystery, diving a little deeper into it. They, uh, they, they, they came out and said that it is not going to be for mining. They're not putting any solar things out there. And as because Ethereum will be soon proof of stake. So that's what they posted on Twitter. Jeffrey Burns is a part of blockchain okay. LLC. Yeah. So, but do one. Do we believe them? And two, are they solely based on Ethereum? Because I don't think it's smart if you're just going to be based on one cryptocurrency. There are plenty of other cryptocurrencies out there. There are plenty of ones you could mine. 
And, I mean, like Joe stated earlier, I mean, there's plenty of solar sun. <laughs> solar sun. There's plenty of sun out there <laughs> to to utilize solar panels and everything like that and reduce your energy costs. So, I mean, regardless of what they say, I don't know if I believe that. But, uh, yeah, that's, but that's a good point. Just adding a little bit of mystery to no, it. No, yeah, no, absolutely. You, you got a good point there. Um, all right, well, moving on to the next one here. Uh, not really a news article, more of just an article article about uh, five dApps on the Ethereum network that you, the viewer and listener, should know about. Uh, pretty interesting ones here. This comes from investinblockchain.com. And we got some interesting ones here. The first one is Decentralized News Network. The second is MakerDAO. The third is 10x. The fourth is Gnosis. And the fifth one here is IDEX. And we'll kind of talk what? real <laughs> we'll talk real quick about uh, each one of those. But um, I know Joe is Jones and Jones and to talk about uh, actually DNN and IDEX. Joe, what's you what you thinking about this article uh, on these dApps? He's, he's Junesin. He's Junesin to talk Junesin. about it. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, so cool things. I'll go ahead and save my uh, my favorite baby IDEX for last and Aurora Dow and all that good stuff. But uh, DNN, uh, decentralized news network. This is something that I was pretty uh, bullish about in the very beginning. I mean. Hashtag Nakamu, but um, what they're doing is they're creating an entire infrastructure and like kind of ecosystem for all aspects of news. So you're talking about media, web related content, um, articles, blogs, things like that. And what they're doing is they're utilizing the decentralized news network token as a utility token to run their blockchain um and it's it's going to be pretty cool because like it says in the very first word decentralized this is like going to be the mecca this is going to be what i feel like is going to be the new major source for news and information um even in regard to like other aspects like steam i think um Steam is, is more of like a social share, share situation. This is where it's going to be like a lot of the major media players. Since it is decentralized, it doesn't mean they are refrained from bias. So this is where the Fox uh, News Network and stuff like that, this is where those people, that are not necessarily with Fox, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that, but those people are coming to decentralized news network to really share their information. Um, and then, of course, uh, the, the fifth one on there, IDEX, love it. So, um, Aurora Dow, I've been really pumping these guys. They're like my favorites. And um, I just, I, I really like what they've got going on. They have an awesome ecosystem, completely decentralized. And, um, I think these are just awesome steps uh, in completing their uh, snow globe um, interface and creating uh, decentralized capital, uh, which they are, in essence, trying to become a bake on crypto. Um, and they should be releasing a stable coin by the end of the year. And I think all of these are major aspects that make this app something to look for because it is going to be a lot but i know uh i know charlie's got one of uh one of his old old friends on there oh, so oh, okay, hold, well, <laughs> damn joe all right all right i hear you i hear you okay first of all uh i wanted to say uh we are not sponsored by any of these cryptos so anything we say is just our opinion um and two uh Funnily enough, you said stablecoin uh, as far as IDEX. Yes, they are doing the stablecoin. Um, but actually, that's kind of MakerDAO's uh, thing as well. They have their own stablecoin. Um, the DAI, the DAI, I guess, um, is soft pegged to the uh, US dollar um, with their algorithms. And as you said, with, uh, yep, the third one there, 10X. I just happened to have the t-shirt on today. Um, 
again, not sponsored by any means, but I do love the 10X project. Um, think uh, crypto debit card in the sense of uh, you throw your Bitcoin, Ethereum, anything on there, and you are able to spend it instantaneously and it will automatically convert from crypto to fiat for that specific transaction through their commit network, um, which I believe is uh, unique to them, to 10X. Um, so uh, yeah, 10X definitely has a special place in my heart. Um, but I would like to hear from uh, one of the other guys here uh, about you guys' thoughts on this, this this list they got going there. And by the way, if anyone doesn't know, um, Gnosis there, I know we haven't talked much about them, um, but they are I they are the uh, they're a prediction mar market platform, um, and I mean that's going to be huge. Um, just collaborating with a whole bunch of people collaborating in a prediction market um, is just this is big, and there is going to be big. So uh, let's see, uh, Oaks, what what you thinking about? Man, so do you see that number one thing on there? Games, <clears throat> I love it. I mean, I play Crypto Kitties every day. It's, uh, <laughs> That's great, guys. Um, You're a crypto you know, breeder, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. Just trying to make money while playing video games. Uh, I don't know too much. I did try to research, uh, what is that, Gnosis, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, but I felt completely out of my realm. So if anyone wants to get active and, hey, tell Oaks how to how to how how it works or what it is, comment down <laughs> below or anything. But, uh, yeah. Fair, fair enough. Joey, what you, what you thinking? No, I'm in the same boat as Oaks is. I've heard of like 10x before, but these other ones I've never heard. Uh, it, it was nice to hear Joe talk about IDEX and you know his passion towards it. Um, so that's good. But <laughs> I'm with Oaks in the games being number one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, blockchain and gaming, there, there's gonna, it's going to be a big deal. Uh, Rowan, I know you got something to say about these. Yeah, so I mean, like I was talking about earlier, the pattern. What, what is the pattern telling us? Blockchain is real. Blockchain is here to stay. Uh, if you don't know what a DAP is, it's a decentralized application. That's, that's all that means. And then and that can take on, you know, different forms, as you see with these five. But uh, this is just, we're just scratching the surface. I mean, anything you, you know, are, I mean, even the apps on your phone. Let's just get real basic. Any of those could be a DAP running on a crypto blockchain network. That it's totally possible, and it's actually expected, I guess you could say, because of all the benefits of blockchain technology. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, and this is a special beer because it's not on the menu. This is their summer ale. Get Listen to this. Lemon pepper cream ale. What? You hear that? Lemon well, pepper cream. Oh, lemon pepper it, I know is chicken. This isn't something I would want to like pound, but it's that, that pepper, man. It's it's got a nice little, nice little pop to it. And that would be an awesome marinade for some chicken, right, Charlie? And then throw some lemon pepper on top. There oh yeah, go. there, we, there we go. Yeah, cook, soak cook that some bad boy in that beer all night. Oh, oh yeah, man, you can make a killer like uh, uh, like breaded fried chicken wings. Vernal Vernal Bruin, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. All right, let's move on to the. Uh, the next article, uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys have uh, seen, uh, unless you live under a rock in the crypto space, but uh, Binance resumes suspended services after irregular Syscoin trading risk alert. Um, I know uh, Rowan brought this article. Rowan knows a little bit more about this. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass it right off to him. Uh, what happened, man? Okay, so Sys, S-Y-S, coin. Uh, unfortunately, they were commandeered. In other words, one party controlled 51% of their blockchain. So, uh, unfortunately, because of their the way their, their blockchain is formed, if you control a majority, then you control the consensus to say this is okay for on the network. So, any transaction, if you control the majority, you can approve a transaction that might not be logically sound. So what this allowed was for these hackers to buy, to basically sell themselves one Sys coin for 96 Bitcoin. If I was 96, was that the right number, Charlie? Yep. yep. 
96 Bitcoin for once, and it usually trades at sub 50 cents levels right now. So you can imagine how a red flag would go up in Binance's system. Well, once again, Binance proved they can handle their shit. Uh, they suspended all trading until they figured it out. Nobody's funds were lost, none of that kind of stuff. Um, so, and this was, uh, it was either yesterday or the day before that this went down. I don't know uh, what's going to happen in the future with Syscoin if it's still, a majority is still owned by these hackers. I don't, I don't know how they go forward because that is an issue. But nevertheless, uh, the hackers made off with uh, like 46 million of Binance's Bitcoins, which for, for Binance, that's a drop in the bucket. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on this article, Oaks? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm you out so, over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, looking at this, uh, by, uh, just uh, again, we love piggybacking here. Piggybacking off of the last thing Roan said is Binance proves that they just continue to handle these things right. And between now and uh, the 14th, they're offering um, like uh, CIS prices at zero fee trading. And they've also put up a fund for. Um, as of the 14th, we'll allocate 10% of all trading fees received into a fund to offer protection to users and their funds. Uh, so that in case something does happen, they can try and get a little bit back um, to you whenever these things do happen. So again, uh, kudos to Binance. And man, yet another, yet another uh, I guess, hacker, whatever, with another cryptocurrency is uh, it's unfortunate. Yep, yep. And uh, Joe and or Joey, you guys have anything to say on uh, this article? We're going to go with no. All right, moving on, moving on. Hey, I hold believe... on, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody, everybody look to your left. You see that? You see that? Everybody look to your left. It's coming. Oh, my God. It's the Allosaurus beer. Allosaurus Amber Ale. Medium body, little dark copper color there. Uh, it's kind of malty. A little caramel colored. This is a really good amber. Really good amber, guys. Boom. I do have to say, anybody uh, on the road, please keep your eyes on the road as you're listening <laughs> to this. Don't look over to the left. There is no beer. All right. <laughs> Dang. I thought there was, man. He made it sound so convincing. All right, moving on to our last article of the day. One of Facebook's most senior engineers just became the director of engineering, comma, blockchain. Uh-oh. This uh, has some pretty big implications, I think, uh, here in the future. Um, what are we thinking, Oaks? Uh, it's about time a big player. Um, this dude's got a great uh, history with blockchain. He worked for Apple for 10 years. Um, and they are a big player like Facebook is finally saying that they are and they they, they confirmed it said they have an update to this article confirming that uh, Evan Ching is a new position as director of engineering and blockchain. So they even confirmed it, knowing that it is a big deal. And again, like Ron has been saying that it is a thing. Blockchain is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. It's only moving into our future and everything will be a part of it. So, again, it's great to see that a big player has put forth a department for this. Fair enough. Joey, what you thinking? Charlie, we are here to stay. <laughs> that seems to be the theme. <laughs> and along with this uh, Evan Chang from Facebook, it also it states in the article that the VP of products from Instagram was also brought over to be put on the project as well. VP of products for blockchain, essentially. There we go. There we go. Jojo, what are you thinking about this article? Uh, I think it's a, I think it's a great step, you know, what Oak said and, uh, you know, going in on Roan, uh, as far as blockchain, um, we're here, we're blockchain, get over it. <laughs> um, but anyways, Is that our new motto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, anyways, I just, you know, t-shirts on sale here soon. <laughs> I, I think it's uh, really cool because, um, you know, Facebook just on last uh, last week's episode, they started uh, bringing back advertising for um, cryptocurrency, uh, excluding ICOs and like you know, I uh, I know that they know that this is this is the step you know, 
they don't want to get my spaced. Hey, I like it. I like it. Rowan, real quick, uh, you got anything on this article? Uh, yeah, just to uh, rehash everything that everyone just said. That, uh, that's right. <laughs> yep, all that. Thank you for that, Roan. We appreciate that insight. <laughs> the word is piggyback, Roan. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like Joe, Joey, you have to piggyback, man. You're so small, you can't see anything. Wow. All right. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> easy, for, easy. For, for all of you listeners out there, Joey is like four foot two. Yeah, he's lying, but well, whatever, you know. Not everybody whatever. can be tall like us, Joe. I mean, it's unfortunate that they can't. But <laughs> moving on to our beer of the week, it is as Joseph alluded to earlier, the All Day IPA Session India Pale Ale. Jojo, how do you feel about this beer? All right, so um, we got Founders All Day IPA here. Um, it's a session ale, and for all of you viewers and listeners out there, if you don't exactly know what a session ale is, um, the the aspect of that is means that it's actually um, seasoned and it's actually like placed in there for a shorter amount of time, so less alcohol content can build off of it. So. They don't let it sit for a long time like the traditional IPAs are concerned. They do excessively hop it, so it does have that sweet like bitterness to it from the hops themselves and that floral flavor. However, it is lower in alcohol content because it is a session ale. And what's awesome about that is they consider session ales all day drinkable beers and what that means is you can drink them throughout the day you can drink more than two or three and you're just not gone so that's what founders has done with this one right here all day ipa all day to drink it uh ba score of 3.87 out of five uh very good rating awesome stuff and uh if you guys find it out there on your shelves uh go ahead and grab a grab a six pack and tell us what you tell us what you think of it i uh i like it and uh hashtag uh drink responsibly all right um and our next slide is actually the slide that we've been seeing all throughout the show uh roan out there in vernal brewing i'll ask you just for a uh a quick overview man uh, what are your uh, just final thoughts on uh, Vural Brewing, their beers, uh, their the atmosphere out yeah. there? What are, what are you feeling so, over there? All right, so I got one more here, the Rigor Mortis, which I'll uh, go over here in a second. All right, uh, so Vernal, Utah is kind of in the northeastern section of Utah that's below Wyoming. Uh, there's a bunch of like, you know, national monuments and good fishing and climbing, all that kind of stuff out here. Uh, dude, their food here is absolutely amazing. Like, I got a uh, pork chop with collard greens and cheesy grits, which southern staple, right? But it was amazing. I mean, I'm talking probably the best meal I've had in the last two years. <laughs> That's how good it was. Okay, okay. So, thank you. All right, so make a point of uh, coming here if you're out this way. Real quick, let's, uh, let's give this rigor mortis red ale a try. Definitely a red ale. Uh, it's kind of like medium bodied. It's got kind of some fruitiness to it. Maybe you should just read the the PowerPoint. <laughs> are you are you stricken with rigor mortis? Can you not move? Quite the opposite, my friend. By the way, uh, I don't know if y'all can hear those children in the background. This place just got invaded by like a, I think a Twilight watching party just ended or something. Some twenties out here. So uh, you know, family family friendly brewery. There you go. Vernal Brewing Co. out in Vernal Ute. Thank you, Roan, for uh letting us know what the heck is going on in the Ute, man. All right, moving on to uh question of the week or question of last week. We had a little uh fun with Coin Dash. Uh, how low will Polar Coin Dash go by next week? And if you, any of you were paying attention in the beginning of the show, you saw exactly how low Coin Dash went. And JoJo was sitting at 20.35% down. Roan was at 1.13% up. 
I was at 21.27% down. And Timmy last week was at 1% down. The actual downness was negative 21.87%. Your boy was only off 0.6%. Let's go. That is what I'm talking about. A win and a virtual brew. Hashtag Nafamu. Just saying. Just saying. All right. I uh, know it was rhyme time there, Charlie. <laughs> Not even planned. Uh, moving on to our actual question of the week. This week, how much will Syscoin, the one we talked about earlier, uh, how much will it go up or down in this next week? Let us know your answer in the comments down below. But first, we need to know, uh, Oaks, what do you think Syscoin's going to do with this week? You know, I don't want to be negative anymore. I have and in the last uh, last couple episodes I've been with, so I'm going to say it's going to go up five because the entire market's going to go up. You said up five? Yes. Okay, all right. Joey, what do you think Syscoin's going to do this week? I think it's just going to keep going down after everything that's happened. I don't think anybody believes in it. I'm going to say it's going to go down an extra 4%. Okay. All right. All right. Joseph, what do you got over there? Um, as uh, far as like things in the past, uh, like Roan uh, said once, it, if it's flagged, it's flagged, you know, and this coin is flagged. So, I mean, if I was that 49% or any part of that, I'd be pulling out everything out of this coin because right now it's not Hashtag Nafamu. Hashtag Nafamu. <laughs> Hashtag Nafamu. <laughs> But um, but seriously, so I think this bad boy is going to go down like another. Um, I'm I'm going to call it like eighteen uh, percent. Okay, all right, and Rowan, what you thinking over there? Uh, so yeah, just a mirror, kind of what Joe said. Because of the majority, a majority takeover is not a good thing. Um, I'm going to invoke the powers of the directional smoked porter here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming to me. So the direction is going to be down. Hold on. Uh, 7.8% down. Oh, man. All right. All right. I see you. Okay. All right. Well, then there we go. Uh, I'm going to go with a solid 8.35% down. I don't think uh, this hack and everything spells well for the future um and again only time will tell like i said let us know your comments your answer in the comments down below and uh real quick last thoughts guys uh anything else you would like to say oaks um no but this hemper is really good you can smoke some beer bro smoking some beer i like it joey uh last thoughts for you my friend appreciate you guys and remember nafamu hey there we go and jojo uh, just to uh, kind of go back on Oaks's beer there, uh, that's a pretty sweet beer, man. You can quite literally drink your beer and token about it. There we go. Roan? Stay bold, keep them cold. There we go. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Make sure if you're in the area, check out Vernal Brewing Company. There. Good beer. Amazing food. Amazing food. Heard All right, that. guys. We'll see you next week. Take care. Here, Here to that. stay. All right, guys. That has been the Crypto Brew Show. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe below from our show. We will see you next week. Cheers. Welcome in the world.